we're just gonna test the battery voltage um, of the car. Uh, I have a 2001 330i sedan. Last week my car broke down, the idler pulley um, exploded under the hood, and the belts came off, and the car was about to overheat before I stopped it. Um, once I fixed everything, I realized I needed to recharge the battery. It took a long time to recharge the battery, so I'm just worried about whether I need a new battery tomorrow. Um, the belts and everything are back in the car. Um, it's just the last thing is just making sure my battery is um, healthy, still healthy. Um, but this car, I'm not sure if the previous owner ever changed the battery since 2001. But the car, when I bought it, only had 37,000 miles on it. So it's a fairly new car um, for the year. So let's just go ahead and do the test sequence of the E46 cluster. Just gonna hold that down. And as soon as you see test, you just hit it. Don't wait. Or it's gonna go into something else. And you're gonna go to 19. And it should say off. And then you hit it. Alright, I think I messed it up. Let's do it again. So let's go into 19. And that says off, and you're gonna wait. And then you could go into your test once that's off. So the battery, I think it's nine. So let's see. Oops, I just skipped. Once you go past, you could always go down to 20, and it starts over at one. So let's go into um, nine, and let's see what what we have. So my battery is 12.1, 12.2. That's the voltage right there. And let's start the car and see what happens. So it's gonna go up. I believe that number should be 14 in the 14s. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, my other car, my older car, when it broke down and I put a new battery in, my E36 1995 um, 3 Series, this number always used to be 14. Well, the OBC control on the E36 cars are actually down beneath the radio. You could unlock it that way. But I think this number should be once the car is started. Um, let's give it a little bit of gas. Yeah, that number should actually be 14.7. I'm not sure, but I'm going to post this video on the forums and find out if this number should be 4 when the car starts. It should be 14. I'm sorry, 14.7 or 14, like mid 14 point either 5 and up um, that could also be the alternator not maybe charging the battery or putting out enough voltage for the battery uh, I'm not sure so it just it looks like it's just at 13 and I'm revving the car a little bit there it just hit 14 I'm not sure the battery's taking a long time to hold that charge I'm not sure what's going on there but it's now 14.2 14.2 seems to be where it, where it's leveling off I'm not sure I'm not sure what that means I know it should be 14.7 around that number for I that's the ideal number. I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure if the, the E46 is different. But I'm going to ask. Um, let's see what other tests we could do. Yeah, it's at 14. So... With the car started, it seems to be at 14, so 14.2 is the highest number I'm getting for the battery, for the voltage of the battery um, with the alternator running. And let's let's turn the car off and see what happens. See that number goes right back to 13. And 12.8, 12.7, and that's what we're getting. So. Let's turn some stuff on. Day weekend. The house votes tonight to lift the ban on the 
to turn the radio and let's start the car with everything on. See the voltage is at 10, 12. Let's turn the headlights on, fog lights, front and rear fog lights. It's at 12. That's with everything running in the car. Address it on the one here. The radio is on. at 14 and that's everything off 13 and it's going back to 12 so that, that'll be it I guess that's all I'm gonna do right now for my test and let's see if I could do the cluster test that everyone likes to see I think it's two let's see what happens I guess it's not working. All right.